This will be an instructional video on how to take the Blu-ray drive apart and replace the laser. There's five screws on the cover. These are the five screws. We will be selling lasers on our website now. This particular Blu-ray drive has the KES 400 or KEM 400A laser. We will cover the KEM or KES 410 laser in a later video. Okay, now all five screws have been removed. These two screws here you leave in to hold the Blu-ray motherboard in place. Flip the drive over like so. There's a little black notch right there. I put my thumb in there. Lift up on the back and slide the cover off like so. Very simple. Now there's five screws in the cover also. Okay, now that we've taken the five screws out of the top cover, as you can see here, the part where you put the disc in is actually pointing away from me. And I'm going to take the cover and I'm going to move it to the right side. This little plastic piece here has a magnet in it. Make sure that you keep this piece separate and away from your screws because your screws will stick to it and it will mess up the drive. Okay, now we have the drive open. There's actually a little wire here and that's why I said to hinge it to the right. And there's a, a little sticker here that covers the wire so the wire won't break. I actually just hang it to the right. Don't remove the cover at all. It might break the wire. And there's one screw that we're going to take out to remove the laser. This screw right here. I'm going to actually take that screw out right now. Unlike the other videos on YouTube that show you have to take out all four of these screws to get the two bars out. It's actually unnecessary and it can save you some time. I'm going to lift up this little clip right here. Take the ribbon cable out. Now the screw that we just took out, that clip, we're just going to lift it up a little bit with our screwdriver and it pops right off. Okay, the ribbon cable's out. Now we're going to take the drive, the rod that we just took the clip from, we're going to lift it up a little bit and slide it right out. And as you can see, I can do it with one hand. Very, very simple. And we're going to show you how to put it back in in one second. We're going to pull the rod out. Now there's two screws on the laser that you're actually going to have to swap clips. This white clip here with the little spring on it, you're going to have to swap that to your new laser and this little metal clip right here. I'm not sure if you can see it in the video. Try and focus in on that. There's a little black screw right here. I'm going to take that screw out first. I'm going to take that clip off. Okay, we'll put that to the side. I'm going to take this little black screw out here on the white clip. I'm going to take that out. We'll put that to the side. Okay, we're going to get our new laser, comes in a nice little foam package, if you buy it from our website, be sure to help you troubleshoot any problems that you have. I'm going to put the white clip back on to the new laser, and the spring clip, what I do is I hold the laser upside down, okay, let me just get this screw helps if you have a little bit of a magnetic screwdriver to hold the screw and I actually hang the clip okay and you screw that right into the new laser like so okay there's two little holes there that little pins line up in and that spring actually goes underneath the rod on the opposite side that you didn't take out slide your rod back in like so Okay, we'll zoom in on just this part of the drive now. I'm going to take the rod and slide it under the other clip that we didn't take out. You actually, hold on a second, I'm going to make sure that spring goes under that rod. And this one goes in there. Lift that. See this spring right here that we didn't take out? You're going to get the rod so it goes under the spring. Lift up on it and slide it in like so. Okay, we're going to push our laser forward on the worm gear, take our ribbon, slide it in place, put the clip down on it, as you can see, and we take our clip, like so, what I do is, there's, there's a little hook right here if you can see it, 
and I put the clip under the hook and push down and it lines up on two little pins and it snaps in place without the screw even being there. These are the two pins that you have to line up into the clip. Okay, we'll take a little screw, put our screw back in. Okay, now this is the important part. The top of the drive, there's two alignment points. This little white clip here on the top cover and this little white rod on this side of the cover. Okay, this rod actually lines up pretty good on the left hand side. It goes into this little hole here. This clip here is the one that gives people a lot of problems. It has to go into this little, it's almost shaped like a number one upside down the way I'm looking at it right now. But if you just take the drive and you do it like this and you flip it over, same way you took it apart, you'll see that that lines up perfect and it slides right on. If you have any issues with the drive not ejecting correctly or making clicking noises. Hi Con, you want some attention? That's my parrot, Con. We'll show him later on in the video. He's a funny little fella. He loves to get attention. Con, you say hello to the people today? Hello. Put our five clips back in, five screws, excuse me, not clips. Put our five screws back in the cover. Take our magnet, make sure there's nothing stuck to the magnet. Just place it on top like so. Now we're going to take our cover, we're going to lay it upside down. Take the drive, flip it over, the magnet will not fall out because it's a magnet obviously. And we're going to slide the front of the drive in like so. And drop it in. Okay, now we'll take our five screws from the metal cover, the outside cover, put those back in. And we have a complete laser replacement. Again, this was for the KEM 400 model drive. I'll be doing a video later on uh, the KE 410 drives. They're a little different. They only have two screws underneath the metal cover rather than five screws. And um, they have two clips. So this, this is actually a little easier to do the 410s than it is to do the 400s. But we'll put up an instructional video for that also. Thank you for visiting PS3.com and be sure to tell all your friends and family about our raffle. Thank you. Hello. Oh, what a good boy. You want to say peekaboo today? You say peekaboo? You're going to play peekaboo. Say hello. Say good night. So what's your last words on this video, Khan? Can you say anything?